symbiosis, the one that means that living together, but it's not a random by chance living together. In this relationship, at least one of the organisms will benefit. And in most cases, it's absolutely important to at least one of the um, organisms in the relationship. And it's between different species. That is also important that you know that. And we've got the three, parasitism, mutualism, and commensalism. You have to know what they are, what they mean, definitions, and examples of each. So let's have a look at parasitism. They've got a mosquito, an ectoparasite, sucking human blood, or a fly sucking blood, where the one species benefits and the other one is harmed. Mutualism, where bees on flowers, the bees get food, the nectar, and the flowers are pollinated. So both organisms benefit. And commensalism. Now yeah, this is so interesting. Yeah. yeah. Here you see the egret, it, it sits on this, um, the cattle there, on this, what is that? It's a buffalo. It's a buffalo, it yes. And um, there you can see, as the buffalo moves around, along, it all the insects, it is disturbed, and this activity makes that and causes the egret to get the insects as food. They don't harm the buffalo, so they are being advantaged. And the mm. buffalo is not being disadvantaged the, or advantaged yeah, in the, the process. Yeah, the buffalo couldn't care less yeah. if there's a cattle great mm. or not. I actually once uh, um, saw an, uh, um, something, that, and I was so, I'm still up to today, sorry that I didn't have my camera with me. It was a tractor plowing, and all the cattle egrets walking behind the tractor, which means that it's not about the tractor. It could have been a buffalo or a horse mm -hmm. pulling the plow too. But it's not about that animal, it's about the disturbance. So the only reason why this Catholic grit is sitting on the buffalo is to be close by when the buffalo kicks up an insect uh, um, with its feet. So what is important for you is remember that you must know symbiosis, know all three of them. It, it can be a, a nice essay type of questions mm. by mm. explaining it. Um, what it means and then giving examples mm. of each. And make sure that you know an example from the plant kingdom, mm -hmm. maybe, um, as well as, uh, I'm thinking yeah. of parasitism yeah. and parasitic plants, mm -hmm. and know an example from the animal kingdom. We find an, uh, um, plants in, in a commensalistic relationship where a climber might use a tree and the tree doesn't care but the climber gets to mm -hmm. the light. So yes, know an example from the animal as well as the plant kingdom for these three aspects of symbiosis.